Here we are in section 3.1 exercises part A with the answers to number 30 through 37. We'll go ahead and pick up those last two as well, those prep problems. Solve for the specified variable. Oh, we're solving, meaning we're getting something alone, but it's not always x. It says we're going to change and get something by itself that might not be x. So number 30, it says solve y equals mx plus b for b, meaning that b is the center of what we're trying to find. So let's do it. Let's get rid of whatever's by this. Well, if we look, this mx is timesing together. By order of operations, this m times x is stuck together, and so it needs to be gotten rid of as one whole thing. So how is it attached to the b? with a plus. So what do we do? We subtract the mx, just like we would a number. And on this side, those guys are gone, and we're left with b equals, well on the other side, what is y equals minus mx? What's y minus mx? I don't know, it's just y minus mx. So there we have it, y minus mx equals b. And that's what the instructions are asking us to do, is to rearrange this with our powers of moving stuff to other sides of the equals sign to get b by itself. Let's check our answer. And there's number 30, b equals y minus mx. Good. Number 31. This one, we're supposed to solve this equation for m. So that means m is our center. So let's get everything away from the m in the reverse order of how it's packed on there. So how do we undo a divided by 3? We do it with a times by 3, times by 3. So on this side, that guy goes away. That's nice. And we're left with 5m minus 7 equals r times 3 is just 3r. That's a multiplication there. All right, what's the next outer one that we can get rid of? This minus 7, how do we undo a minus 7? With a plus 7, plus 7. We get 5m equals 3r plus 7. All righty. What's left to get m by itself? Because that's what we're trying to do, 4m. We need to get rid of that 5. That 5 is attached with a multiplication, so we undo it with division. 5 divided by 5 cancels, and we divide by 5 over here. Are we there? Well, yeah, look what's left on the left-hand side of the equal sign. We get m equals 3r plus 7 all over 5. And now m is now by itself, or it is solved for. Let's check our answer. m equals 3r plus 7 all over 5. Number 32, a equals 2 pi r h. And we want to get h by itself. You may recognize this formula from uh, a cylinder, the, the lateral surface area used to be over here, but we're trying to get h by itself, so we have to get rid of everything but the h. Well, how is the 2 and the pi and the r attached to the h? That's multiplication. So we can divide by 2 pi r, divide by 2 pi r, and we have 2's cancel, pi's cancel, r's cancel, and we're left with h by itself equals a divided by 2 pi r. And h is now by itself. Let's check our answer. h equals a over 2 pi r. Correct. Number 33. a equals 1 half bh. And we're trying to get b by itself. So I'm going to circle the b. We've got to get rid of the things that are by it. Well, we have a 1 half multiplying. How do we get rid of a 1 half that's timesing? We divide by 1 half. Now, dividing by 1 half is the same as timesing by 2 over 1. So I'm going to write it uh, with that shortcut of multiplication. Times by 2 over 1, you'll notice 2 times 1 half is gone. So we now have bh equals 2a. Now, trying to get the b by itself, we've got to get rid of that h. How do we get rid of h? by dividing by h on both sides because it is attached with a multiplication. So we end up with, those are gone, we get b equals 2a over h. And if you write it like that or like this, those are the same thing. Let's check our answer. b equals 2a over h. Excellent. 
Number 34, C equals 5 ninths F minus 32. That was our temperature conversion formula. Now we want to solve this, not when we have F as like 10 or 15, but it says solve it for F. So we get a new kind of formula that looks, that looks similar, but will be solved for F. So let's peel from the outside. You'll notice these parentheses say F minus 32 happens first, then we times by 5 ninths. So we're going to divide by 5 ninths. Dividing by a fraction is the same as timesing by 9 fifths. Timesing by 9 fifths. So on the left hand side of the equal sign, we have 9 fifths C equals 9 fifths times 5 ninths. These are inverses. So what, that's what happens. They cancel out, and we've got the f minus 32. Um, so how do we get f by itself? That's our goal, to get f by itself. Oh, we've got to add 32 to both sides. So let's add 32, add 32. Now 9 fifths c plus 32 uh, can't combine anything. They're not like terms, equals f. And you'll notice that that's the formula that is in your textbook that will convert Celsius into Fahrenheit. This one converted the Fahrenheit into the Celsius. So they're the same formula. One of them gets your Celsius, and the other one gets the Fahrenheit. Number 35, oh, let's double check our answer first. Number 35, number 34, there we have it, 9 fifths C plus 32. All right, number 35. Volume, or V, equals one-third pi r squared h, and we're trying to get h by itself. Well, we have one-third pi r squared. We could divide by that whole thing, but dividing by a fraction, we'd have to multiply by the reciprocal anyway. So let's take care of the fraction first. Divide by one-third is the same as timesing by 3 over 1, timesing by 3 over 1. So we get 3V equals fraction gone, pi r squared h. Now we have stuff that we can just divide by. It's timesing by the h, and we want to get the h by itself, so divide off by whatever it is that's there. Kind of makes you feel powerful, doesn't it? To divide off pi r squared, and you don't even know what they are. And this, that's kind of as simplified as it goes. So you've actually just created another formula that will solve for h. So 3v over pi r squared, let's double check our answer. And we get h equals 3v over pi r squared. All right, now let's look at the 36 and 37, the preparation problems. Number 36 says, after reading some of the next section, so this is in preparation for your, your group work together, try to solve this problem. It says two numbers add up to 94, and the first one is 26 more than the second one. Find the two numbers. Ah, we're doing some word problems here, and it says we've got two numbers. That means we have to find we've got a first and a second one. So we actually have two equations where the first plus the second adds up to 94. And it says that the first is 26 more than the second. Well, the trick on this that you're going to be shown in the instructional video and that you can work together as a group is that this F is 26 plus the S, so you can substitute it right in there. And that's a pretty cool one because you get 26 plus S plus s equals 94. It's looking for two numbers, but you can't solve for two numbers unless they tell you about the first one. And here, this is an equation that you now know how to solve. You can do this. Add the two s's together, and 26 plus 2s equals 94, and solve it, and you can find that second number, which then if you stick that, plug that in there, you'll find the first number. Number 30, 7. Number 37, find the missing variable for a cone. So it will have you, um, we, know, we know what the formula for a cone is for SA. So it's SA equals pi r l plus pi r squared. Yes, indeed. However, in this one, this is just like we did in chapter 2, but this one gives us the SA to be 622.04 substituting that number in right there. The r is a 9 and goes in here and there, so we get pi times 9 l 
plus pi times 81. So how do we do this? Well, this is the genius of algebra and why it's in the preparation problem. You guys are going to be doing some word problems. When you stick it in, instead of just using your calculator to compute and get the end result, you need to solve for L. So you need to subtract off this number over here, minus pi times 81, minus pi times 81. You can do that in your calculator. And then, once those are gone, you now have pi times 9 times L equals whatever this number is over here. How do you get rid of the 9 and the pi? Well, it's timesing, so you can divide by 9 pi. So you're going to take this whole thing and divide by 9 pi. And that will give you your L. When we go to check our answer, you'll see what it says. 36, discuss it together. We're not going to give you the answer right now. We want you to talk about it and see if you can come up with that answer and how it connects to what we have been doing in this entire section. Same with number 37. Good.